And studies have been run to show that under these conditions, looking through this magenta, norepinephrine is generated. Yes. And now tell us, you're the medical specialist. <laughs> if you have additional norepinephrine filling the synapses, the gaps in the brain, what on earth would happen? We know that light triggers different responses. And one of the ways it does so is by <clears throat> determining what chemicals are produced within the brain. Yes. The, the magenta light triggers an increased production of norepinephrine, which is a neurotransmitter, meaning okay. it helps nerves transfer signals one to another. Now that's nice. Go well, on. The result of that is it is a natural way of the body uh, calming down anxiety, preventing depression, taking care of me most of the common psychiatric illnesses we see today. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. Now, before we close the program, Dr. Peterson, tell us. Uh, here we have a, a biblical context where people live to be almost a thousand years of age, even though they had sinned, even though Adam and Eve had fallen, and we have the consequence in, in, in Cain slaying Abel and Seth being born, and yet they were born in a sinful context. And so we have sinfulness of man, yet we have long lives approaching a thousand years. So that's the reason I said unemployed medics. Mm -hmm. Now, we would need some medical attention, but we wouldn't need it to the degree that we now experience a drastic need for medical attention. People did die. Uh, Understanding the creation model. Okay. The wonder is not that men and women lived nearly 1,000 years in this context. Yes. The wonder is that you and I can survive at all in the hostile environment in which we find ourselves today. A profound statement. We're, we have an onslaught of detrimental activity. Uh, not only an onslaught of it, but we are imbibing that activity. And as a consequence, it, it is a wonder that we're surviving. And some of us are doing all right, <laughs> you know. Now, let me ask you a question. What would be the effects of sin. Here we have perfect bodies, and uh, they had not had the mutational damage accumulation that we now have. So Adam and Eve, Adam died at 930 years of age. So that apparently was a result of, among other things, mutational variation, but also emotional damage because of sin. We're all emotionally damaged because of sin. We are, and the spiritual connection with the Creator was broken. Oh, yes. And it needs to be reestablished. Yes, that brings us to the conclusion. Dr. Peterson, <clears throat> in these closing moments, I want you to look at another footprint. You've been with me in the Paluxa River while we have uncovered original human footprints. In fact, there was a trail of five footprints I named the Becky series after my daughter. I named nothing after me, but I have the privilege of naming after my kids <laughs> and so forth. So in the Becky series, we have five five-inch footprints, and you specifically mentioned the medial, lateral, and metatarsal arches and the fact that a child's print is a little more flat-footed than an adult print. And uh, you examined the Taylor Trail as well and pointed out things we had discovered a new track in the Taylor Trail. Briefly, would you just examine this footprint? This was found in Permian Rock near Stinnett, Texas. It's the AM coffee print. Mm -hmm. Would you just point out certain details that may or may not be human? Well, one of the things that may not be visible on screen that's very obvious from this angle is that the second toe seems to be depressed a little bit more than the others. That's important. The and second toe feeds more information neurologically to the brain. That's what than allows us toe. to maintain our balance properly and well understand stated. what's happening. And of course we, we do see the the arch properly formed. 
uh, the if it were not a human footprint, let's say for example it was an ape footprint, it would not it would have a a flatter, uh, yes. rounder shape to it. It wouldn't have the nice longitudinal arch that we see. Or here. or the big toe as well. In fact, an ape simply has uh, another another hand. Uh, another it's really another hand. He has four hands. So uh, you would say. There's no question. That's a human no. footprint. In fact, in the original, and this is a certified cast, uh, we have a little veneer here that formed. Maybe a, a, just a, a light rain uh, was processed immediately after uh, he stepped in that mud. And we have a veneer showing that this was not carved. There is no question that is original. There were nine of them in the series. And in this series of nine, we have some child's prints as well. And this is in Permian rock. Now, according to evolutionary theory, this Permian rock is 225 to 256 million years old. But according to evolutionary theory, man did not appear until a few tens of thousands of years ago in his Homo sapiens sapien, this profile. He appeared, according to evolutionary theory, no more than two and a half million years ago, even in a dawn primitive form developing from the lower primates, according to that theory. But that theory is all washed up with the facts. The facts are we were created. We were designed. The facts are that the Creator visited planet Earth in the person of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The facts are that Jesus went to Calvary. He died for our sins. He was buried. And he rose again the third day. And the facts are that he's alive right now speaking to your heart. Would you pray a simple prayer with me? Just pray this prayer from your heart. Dear God, I need you. I'm a sinner. I need the blood of your Son to cover my sins and cleanse me. Lord Jesus, right now, I open my heart to you. Come in right now and save me forever, and I will serve you with all my heart. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.